Here we are on the 15th of granite, year 500. Skip tutorial, thank you. Alright, so we have uh, the dipped boots, 10,000 dwarves, only 18 sites, so these are all big sites. The slings of immortality. Ooh. This is a struggling civilization. 59 population over three sites. Though it's saying five here. Weird. Floor of Starling, 1600 population, 17 sites, and the Mountainous Spears. 600 population over six sites, so they're also, and we're in the same region. Kind of looks like the goblins might be an issue here. Or maybe it's the rocks that have been giving us trouble. Anyways, the Sling of Immortality sounded the most interesting to me, so let's go there. Let's see what we got up here. So these are just all unclaimed areas. This one was destroyed in 261. Never done a. I mean, I've done a reclaim before, but never on stream. So maybe we'll do a reclaim too. Reclaim crude rooms or clobber bolts. So crude room was destroyed by a forgotten beast. Clobber bolts was just destroyed. Crazed, crazed dykes was defeated by the glowing corridors. Hmm. I'm thinking these glowing corridors is going to be a problem. Let's try this one. I suppose I didn't check what the Silver and lead. Silver hammers. No trees, though. Yeah, let's do it. So in light of this... We definitely want miners, but we also want uh, a couple of people that are kind of um, well armed.
Alright, so instead of having a stone worker. Let's have them be a sword surf. And also a fighter. Dastoth. We don't need a weaponsmith. Alright, so these three will be our military to start, and we'll uh, give them an opportunity. Alright, Crude Rooms. Do we like the name? Do we want something else? Yeah, well it was named Crude Rooms to begin with, so we'll leave it at that. Uh, of the Tour of Thorns... Sure. Symbol. Crude rooms of the Tour of Thorns. And this is in the Sling of Immortality, so I think um, we'll have a sling. No, we don't have a sling. Well, it's going to be dwarves, right? Uh, an image of dwarf. A uh, tour of thorns. And I think the reality is we're going to be up against goblins, right? Um, the dwarf is admiring the spike. The goblins are being flayed by the menacing spike. The menacing spike is striking a menacing pose, a triumphant pose. How about that? Perfect. Is perfect. Uh, item, uh, animals. Let's bring a couple of dogs. I don't normally bring dogs, but we'll bring some dogs. I have no points. So we have three short swords for our military. Hmm. I guess I don't have any space for dogs. Um Won't bring those bags. All right, Moondare, get a coffee and biscuit. Have a great day. So yeah, we'll bring two dogs.
and a sheep. A pig. Yeah, that's good enough. Let's go. I am ready. A dwarven outpost. You have arrived after a journey from the mountain homes into the forbidding wilderness beyond. Your harsh trek has finally ended. Your party of seven is to make an outpost for the glory of all of Bim Azoth. There are almost no supplies left, but with stout labor comes sustenance, whether by bolt, plow, or hook. Provide for your dwarves. You are expecting a supply caravan just before the winter entombs you, but it is spring now. Enough time to delve secure lodgings ere the cougars get hungry. A new chapter of dwarven history begins here at this place. Ginnat Moses. Crude worms. Strike the earth. So reclaims. It has some generated uh, stuff. And immediately, before we even start, we've got a problem. Oh, how interesting. Our queen is here? Queen of the Sling of Immortality. How interesting. Why are, is she listed as hostile? How weird. Oh, this might be... This might be um, not actually hostile. So generated territory like this sometimes has some weird things going on. Looks like we have this weird road that kind of starts and then stops. And oddly, some of our people generated inside the wall here and others did not. Weird. Okay, let's follow this down a little bit, see what we can see. Looks like we have two entrances. This one's just wide open. We have a book called The Secret Dwarf here. The writing is forceful, yet it is somewhat some self-indulgent. We have a pedestal with a native silver eight-sided long die. Nickel silver statue. Apparently we're just displaying dice in this fort. Yeah, everything every single pedestal has uh All right. So we see down to that level.
It's like there's a bunch of food here too. Bunch of stuff. Weapons even. All right, so first off, let's um, pen pasture our dogs over here. And we'll pen pasture our horses here. Um, and I seem to recall there were no forests here, right? Or no trees? Yeah, no trees. So if we want to build anything, we're going to have to reclaim wood in some ways. All right. Let's uh, get a stockpile. Just get a stockpile here. Big one. Um... And uh, this will just be like a general stockpile, I guess. Armor. Actually, let's let's kind of sort things out as we go, right? So, uh, no ammo, but let's make this armor and weapons, but not trap components. I think I'll make this smaller as a result. Okay. And uh, yeah, let's make our military squad. Oh, I need to name a dwarf. All right, so Darth, you want a bearded miner, which is Thultig, the expedition leader. So Darth Torlin, the expedition leader, an artisan, their materials and the tools to shape them. Uh, 64 years old, disdains hard work, patient, good memory, strong, good intuition. And um, let's see here. Very ambitious, always looking for a way to better his situations, quite polite, is somewhat quarrelsome, and is bothered by this since he values friendship. Tends to avoid crowds, doesn't often feel anxious of uh, envious of others, and is slow to anger. Does, tends to avoid any physical confrontations, and, and he works to square this natural tendency with his respect for martial prowess. He lives a fast-paced life, uh, tends to be passive in discussions, and generally acts with a narrow focus on the current activity. Uh, likes working outdoors and grumbles only mildly at inclement weather. Dreams of mastering a skill one day, and personally thinks working hard is an abject idiocy. Uh, likes church gold, sunstone, giant gray squirrel leather, mass lovebird tooth, gems, greaves, large gems, animal traps, alpacas for their resemblance to a miniature llama, and crabmen for their wa sideways walk. Uh, when possible, he prefers to consume giant hair, uh, parsnip plants, buckwheat beer, and fisherberry seeds. Absolutely detests moon snails. How could you detest moon snails? Um description he's mighty and tough has very long beard arranged in double braids uh, sideburns are clean shaven his very long mustache is neatly combed and his very long hair is arranged in double braids his broad short nose is incredibly upturned his slightly flattened ears have small lobes his hair is auburn skin is raw umber and his eyes are copper um, worships Adil a fine dwarf all right, so we have this stuff here. We have, uh, we're gonna make a food stockpile because that stuff's just gonna rot real quick if we don't do something with it. Oh, but we have no meat. 
or no wood. Not seeds. I guess we do all the unprepared stuff here. What else is here? Gems, clothing, some finished goods. All right, create a squad, don't care. We want you and you. And we're gonna unpause. Okay, so the king, the queen, and Enduk, their child, I believe? Oh no, this is a child of a baron and baroness. Another child of a baroness. So yeah, these are all listed as hostile, but they don't seem to actually be a problem. I, I didn't uh, look at these fire imps. They're way down here though, so I guess they're not a problem. They are cute though. All right, let's... Um you know what, we're going to need some stone and I need to open up this entrance anyways. I don't think there's any place to fish here, but we want to turn off fishing. Bunch of ravens now. All right, military. of cavern okay going down here. No threats so far. Oh. Some rock, some muddy floor. Just wide open caverns here. Yeah, no problems. Oh, does this do nothing here? Goes back up. All right, so 
so apparently this is just a, a road. So we'll have to block this off. And maybe we'll just block this off temporarily here, and that way we don't have to deal with over there. But I think that's where we're going to end up living anyways. place has long been unused but the fact that the queen is here is interesting wonder why the queen is here down, down, so they had some living area there, but I didn't see how to get into it, a pyrolusite statue, huh, good luck at the bus, station up here. Ah, more dwarves. A whole bunch of items in here. dwarves. I didn't see a way to go back up to that other layer. Like all this area in here, huh? It's going to take us a while to get to uh, this area here. It's like more living quarters up there. A statue of a horseshoe crab man. A statue of a giant tortoise man. I need to uh, step away for a sec. Be right back.